Well, hello YouTube, Cyclic Action here, and today we have uh, the first of uh, my Let's Plays, actually. Uh, today we have Portal Stories Mel, as you can see here. Uh, this was recommended to me as a good friend. Surprisingly enough, despite just loving Portal, especially Portal 1, Portal 2 is good too, don't get me wrong. Uh, just loving what the series were as far as these first person kind of platforming puzzle adventure games went. Uh, I'm surprised this slipped under my radar. Uh, frankly, I am excited to actually get a little more uh, portal in my life. Uh, so, just for everyone watching here, this is going to be a long form Let's Play. I'm not going to be adding this as heavily as the Let's Regret stuff. Uh, I kind of want to play at this format a little while, see what you guys think of everything, try to bring some new series around, if there's anything you guys would like to see at the end of this video, let me know in the comments below. In the meantime though, it... it's time to figure out who Mel is, I guess. Alright, new game. I can just start wherever I want, can I? Alright, well, 1952 we go. Oh. That was kind of a nice screen. Kind of missed that loading uh, icon there, good old aperture science. Well, I guess this is 90. I wonder what the aesthetic's gonna be like. I mean, this is this, this is a this is a community mod. I I'll, I'll link to their Steam page in the location below. It's a free game. You guys should probably look in. Let's watch this. Let's see what's going on. Oh, I'm getting Half-Life vibes coming off this, the, uh, the train ride. Oh, looks like I can move. Is this on? Ah, oh, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson, and boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait, wait. Where are we again? Uh-huh. Okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be an Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. All right, so I'm gonna cut it in over the music here. Um, this is an interesting way to enter the game. This very much, like I said, reminds me of the initial uh, Half-Life One entry. I, I like the choice of little classic music here. A little too old for, uh, for me to have known, but. I, I like these sort of slow form introductions. I'm gonna have to change the mouse, uh, mouse sense. All right, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait, Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay, does station have an extra O before the I? All right, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired. Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, they got uh, they got some of the aperture uh, humor going on here too. Is the middle door that opens? None of the doors open. I'm just gonna fade to black. Okay. Oh, Alright, it's gonna be a little break from exposition. We can talk about this a little bit because. This is a promising intro. I like this. This is nice. I don't really know what else to say yet. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm a little new to all this sort of stuff, so it, 
Okay, we're gonna check aside for a second. I'm gonna fix my mouse because this this this, this isn't how my mouse. Ah. Uh. Okay, at least acceleration is disabled. Let's uh let's try let's try that. How, how does that feel? Yeah, that that's work. That's work. Let, let's turn that down a little bit actually. That's not work. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know anything. I don't I don't know how to play the games I play. There we go. That that'll do it. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out and as a reminder. Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. No. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Well, at least that sucker got that I'm not gonna get any. Let's get some coal before we go. Maybe I can't use the coal machine. I'm gonna find a coin. Give me a fucking coin around here. You gotta have a coin. You can't put a vending machine that says take a coin and not have a coin. Look, it's even, it's even got a slot to give me a drink. Look at that. Look. Oh, it just goes nowhere. That drink comes from hell. Okay, we're just... Never mind, we don't want the hell drink. We're just gonna... We're just gonna keep going. I... I don't, I don't trust you, but let, let's say hi. Oh shit, that's the L. That's the L way. One sec, we gotta do this right. Do you guys know how to make a Q? What the fuck is this? Sorry, what do you guys say to me? He is asleep. He is asleep and his eyes are open. Uh oh. Okay. I'm just gonna let myself hit him. He scares me. I don't like that man. I wonder if he'll ever wake up. Main station, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete, on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. Where's his voice coming from? It's. Oh, never mind. I answered that question. Okay. Never mind, Cave. You're good. Oh shit, that means Caroline's here too. I should probably let y'all know now, there's going to be spoilers, of, of course, for, for Portal Mel stories. Portal stories, Mel, whatever this game is called. I'm sure I'll write it down sometime so I don't make this mistake again. But there's going to be spoilers for this, for Portal... I'll, I'll try to keep it just to the Portal series. I won't try to spoil anything else, but if you hear holy shit, maybe like, I'll just let you guys know. Honk, 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 honk. Well, at least it's slapping his way. Alright. I do like the cars, though. Kind of classic, kind of buggy feel. Hold on, this might say something. Oh, it's the Disco Ball Science. 1947. Can we go up there? We're gonna see if we can go up here. I know we came here for science, but... Can we just, like... Can I hop the fence and just go in? No. Oh, I hope I'm able to hop the fence back. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Can I just walk through the glass? No. Why would you model a whole building and not let me inside? Why would you do this? Maybe I get to go there later. Okay, I know there's more science to do, but I see shady back alleys and I'm, I'm drawn. Button. My half-life stuff's kicking in. Button. I can't go anywhere, wow. I'm only 15 minutes in the game, why would I be exploring? I don't know why that scared me, but it just did a little bit. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. 
Can I take a number before I go? No, I can't. Superconductor test. Superpower. Super tumors or both. Well, that's promising. Ask your local aperture supervisor about conductor tests and become the human specimen you always dreamed to be. Aperture science innovators withhold the right to be angry about any unexploded eyes or teeth during conductor tests. I don't recommend putting that on a spoon. I've been there. Not a good idea. Alright, we gotta talk to the receptionist. Hold on, there's a receptionist need to talk to. I can't talk to the receptionist. Why do all the signs lie to me? I can't even get a cola. I'm so sad right now. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Can I... can I stairs still? What's a tray? My god, there's another person. I'm not used to seeing people in a portal game. There's three people! We have reached high score on humanity. Discounting the multiplayer. Is that an elevator? No, that's just very, very glowy science. I probably went in the wrong direction. I probably screwed this up already. Is this an elevator? No, this is where I came from. Wait, what? No, no, what? Did I just... How did I get that turned around? I'm ashamed of myself. Okay, I can't move these boxes to learn how to lift safe. That, that's why. I need to learn the lift skill first. Ah. I just want to explore everything. I want to find all the hidden buttons. That's not an elevator. Alright, we're in section one of the salt mines, I guess. So th these are probably the test chambers, so... Maybe we come back here? Probably come back here. I wonder if I can get up there later. I wonder if I can get a cola later. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Fuck. Why would you put that there? You're all a bunch of assholes. Bunch of big fucking assholes. I love this. I love this so much. I wandered around far too much. 13 minutes? Okay, now we get. I'm not gonna look up, but now we go. Now we go down. Here in Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine and all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well,. Thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. I hope Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but, in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss when I can. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, 
the Aperture Science Innovators Short Term Relaxation Vault. Oh, oh, those things are always so nice. It's just so good for everyone. You come out just feeling so talkative. I really like the person they picked for the for the voice acting here. I don't know who that man is, but he deserves a round of applause. So let's give it to him here. This is round of applause because he's doing a fucking great job. I think I've reached my applause quota for the day. No one else gets any credit for anything. No, but seriously, the monitors, you guys are fucking great. The stuff you produce. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. We are, we are the winner. We are the winner. We won all the things. There's more humans. But none of them do anything. They're all just standing asleep. It's weird. Or riding train. That was a little jumpy. I wonder when the testing would start. I wonder if we even get a portal gun. I mean, if it's, it's a portal, but we're... We are five and a half kilometers down. That was a very long elevator ride. There should be a chair in here. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappear because of him. Sounds promising. Luckily, I like crazy people. That is an eerily quiet giant door. But that is some very good music, so uh, they, they, they get a pass. Let's just let this atmosphere sink in for a second. That's pretty fucking good. I, I like that. Shit, guys, I'm not even sure if you're gonna make it to the first testing chamber on the first episode here, so... Let's see what happens. Oh, that was the door. Okay, I fucking thought I was about to die. Okay, that, that, that's, a, that's a vista. Let's see the vista. I think this is a vista. No, it's just giant rock. No, it's both. It's a danger. I wonder what happens if we jump in the water. Well, at least there's an achievement for that, so... More of the story, we really don't like water. We're entirely made of cesium. We'll just explode if we touch water. Alright, let's, let's last so, pass this quickly. As I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappear because of him. 
All right, so we're 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 back at the door. We're not gonna we're not gonna walk in any more water. We know we we now know that we are purely seasy. It's just God, that made me fucking jump again. What the fuck is with me today? I didn't jump that time. Oh, it's, oh, it's young cave. It's young cave. Oh, that is a face of science, people. That is the face we're gonna science for. All right. Test subject waiting area. Yeah, that looks right. Contractor of the Year runner-up. Oh yeah. Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry likes me. Oh, these the, the, these classic turrets. What does this remind me of? Where have I seen this before? I mean, aside from the obvious. I don't know, I'm probably just going crazy. At least now we know where they keep their ammunition. Maybe just the drums aren't staggered. There's a design flaw. The drums aren't staggered. They just kill into each other. Let's not talk about gun science right now. Alright, let's, let's let's do real science. Alright, that's just way out, right? Nope. No, that's an imaginary way out. We don't get to go there. Ooh, door I can finally interact with. Oh, that looked a lot more ominous than it appeared to be. Alright, into the shipping container of sleep we go. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Oh, it was Carolyn. Alright, let's regret this decision. Hey, a cutscene! I see they already installed the boots on my leg, which look like they just ripped the suspension out of a car. At least it'll work well. I'd hope. God, I hope it's not fall damage. Well, that's fine, miss. Oh, and we're gone, people. We're gone now. Those are klaxons, aren't they? Like, like warning sirens. You know, there was actually a tornado warning in my area earlier today. Apparently there was like three of them forming over my city, and I just psst, fucking slept through it. Woke up, text message with my girlfriend, just like, No warnings? What the fuck do you mean, tornadoes? I'm asleep. So if these videos ever for me, uh, you do know that the reason why is I slept through a natural apocalypse. Is a is is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. Hmm. I think something has gone wrong. Oh, well, if you guys want to see what's outside of uh, this door, do make sure to tune in for the next episode of uh, Portal Stories Mel. Um, because, frankly, we've already actually been going on for almost half an hour now, and, uh,. You guys don't want to be here all day. If you do want to be here all day, though, I do love you guys. You're great, but... It's just... Alright, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I want to, I'm going to get some soup. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go make a bowl of soup. And once I've had my soup, I will come back and I will open this door. So until then, this has been Cyclic Action. If you guys liked uh, what you've seen so far, do uh, remember to uh, like the video. If you want to see more, definitely remember to subscribe and check out the playlist that I'm putting onto the screen right now. And until next time, I'll catch you later, folks. And if you get some soup, too, enjoy it. I recommend mushrooms. It's pretty fucking good. <laughs>